Mia, you sell your cooch for a living, all right? Now you want to give out marriage advice. This is wild, bro. What's good with y'all, man? Hey, bro, check this out. Oh, we're comparing stats. Baby girl doesn't know that I am Tom Brady at this game. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage. Married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement. Engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. I'm still keeping Tom Brady on his toes. We should not be afraid to leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. It is it is paperwork. It's something it's 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 a commitment you make to someone. But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you got to go. You got to go. You have to go. I know it's difficult to fill out paperwork and to make appointments and to do all of these things, but this is your fucking life. Do you want to be stuck with someone? It's period. Do you want to be stuck with someone? Bro, crazy, right? Shame. 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 I'm going Cersei from Game of Thrones on that ass, Mia. Shame. 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 I'm going Cersei Game of Thrones on your ass, Mia. Like, real talk, the only thing to compare with you and Tom Brady is the fact that you throw your coochie out like a boomerang to anybody willing to catch that thing. I'm on your ass, Khalifa. What is there even to compare? What are we talking, stats? Right? Because we all know your body count higher than the 2022 death toll. We ain't even tripping on that stuff. That's a known. So why is, like, like the fact that even women would listen to this girl about marriage advice. What are we talking here, fellas? Y'all see what modern dating is like? Y'all see what modern women is like? These are modern women's role models. Females like this. Slinging coochie for a living is supposed to be just the normally accepted thing. She should still be treated like a queen. You should still wife her up. She's marriage material. Bro, hell no. Okay? In all rights and all actuality, fellas, you don't need to be getting married today, right? It's a dead thing today. And people come at me wrong, right? Pause. Crazy, bro. And people be tripping on what I be saying, right, with marriage today. I shout out to, you know, guys like Ashraf. You know, bravo to him for pulling the play of on that divorce, right? Because all women see it as is a way, a safety net for them to take half of a man's hard earned money, right? Hard earned net worth. This is just the backup plan for them. This is all they going into it. Like, so this is what I'm gonna tell you fellas. Number one, we talking marriage. There is no, there's no, there's no such thing, right? In the perfect world, right? In the perfect world, what it was supposed to be was something sanctimonious. It actually held weight. It actually held merit. You're supposed to go in with integrity. Now chicks is just like, I'm, I'm you know, I'm finna back out of this anyway. And for the guys out there that's, you know, you still have hope for it. Listen, bro, I'm not telling you that I don't have, you know, all the best wishes for you, bro. If you found that diamond in the rough, you found that wife and material chick, she better not be like Khalifa. Listen, if your girl is showing signs, not even signs, bro. If she sling coochie for a living, why is you even thinking about wife and this girl? Why is she, whoever married her, right? I don't know what he was thinking. Right, I just heard that she had crazy top game. Right, she is not like, I, I don't even see, I don't understand, right? To each his own, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, whatever, right? Forget all that. Her head game was good enough to get married and apparently almond milk come out of them jugs. I don't know what it is, right? I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on today, but anytime you know a chick has had a price tag on her coochie or still has, see guys, to me, MJ, get right. You already know I'm gonna tell you, once for the streets, always for the streets. There is no coming back for that, for me. Some of you guys might have your own standards that you go by. Well, she was a hoe in the past, but now she's cleaned up her act and she'll never step out on me again. I'm gonna wife her up 20 years down the line, come to find out she's bored. So now she's gonna split up and not only is she splitting up with you, right? She's taking half your net worth and your kids, right? If you had kids with her. And also you stuck paying child support and also you stuck alimony, all this other stuff, bro. That's what you have in store for you if you willing to wife up a chick like this. And any woman who's listening to what she's talking about, any woman who's agreeing with this chick, right? Because I looked in the comment section. I got sent this on IG, by the way. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on IG. Check this. Bro, make sure you send me stuff like this. Because, like, really, I looked in the comment section. Females over here like, yeah, preach, right? Tell them, queen. Wait, what the fuck is y'all on? Like, what is y'all see what we got to deal with today, right? You see what I'm trying to tell you? 
it's not that I can't stand marriage because of what it stands for. It's because of it's just a trap today. Like Mia said, the only thing she said was his paperwork. At this point, guys, today it's contractual. All they're trying to do is seal the deal legally. See, anytime you're getting married, they're involving the state with your relationship. That don't even make any sense. What the hell I got to do with you and her? Y'all relationship, y'all marriage. Why the state got to get involved? Why does she deserve half of your damn money, bro? I'm just speaking. Hey, I'm just trying to save lives out here. That's it. If you can heed my warning, because I am telling you, bro, I've been doing this for a minute. I see, I interact with them on a daily basis. On a daily basis. I be on them, bro. It's like a, it's like a game to me. Catching all these hoes. It's a Pokemon game to me, bro. I'm catching all these hoes. That's how easy it is to get out here with these modern women. It's not like Coochie is like in scarcity, bro. It's, the market is flooded with it right so the price plummets the supply is super high because they feel empowered by selling it okay bet well let me tell you that you have the possibility of getting a marriage i'm gonna get all i can i'm gonna reduce reuse recycle then i'm gonna release you back into the wild go ahead bitch go go back to the streets here you go and at that point she's getting upgraded to the highway and into the skyway jet mileage like that's what the situation is today I don't know if guys are still confused because I know I still got some beta little, little simps in it, little cucks in here like, no, no, Adam 22 is a real man because he's able to watch his wife get death stroke by a whole nother nigga. Like that's on some wild, like people is letting wild shit fly today and I'm not doing it, bro. I don't stand for that, bro. Okay. I'm about realness. You want to be real, bro? Your power is holding off on the marriage. Even further than that, your power is holding off on the relationship, guys. Stop rushing into this stuff. I had a consultation with a brother. He's like, you know, should I make her my girlfriend? I'm like, how long y'all been together? We've been together about three months, man. And she's showing real signs. I'm like, bro, you still in the honeymoon phase. What is you trying to rush into marriage? Especially hearing the stuff that me and Khalifa talk about. Especially hearing, seeing the stuff that's going on today. You mean to tell me, brother, that you want to... You mean to tell me, bro, that you want to sit here, right, and legit try to tell this girl to take all your power away? Like, that's wild to me. Please be my girlfriend. The girl should be the one pressing you, chasing you to lock you down, right? It's wild to me. Guys are stepping down on one knee to, you know, they, they had to buy this expensive ass ring anyway. I remember one chick I was with, this bitch was like, oh yeah, I'd like to get this ring because I had sold her the dream. And you know me, I had the chick drunk on my Johnson, right? Slapping them on the forehead with it. They love that stuff. You know what I'm saying? She talking about some, I would like this engagement ring. This shit was like $14,000. I looked at her, I smiled. Like I really almost just busted out laughing, bro. But you know, I had to keep the game going because guys, that's your power. And at that moment, bro, I'm tell you what I realized. I realized that you have all the power because it's you that's supposed to technically get down on one knee. Wow, too, because some chicks have actually gotten down on one knee to lock a man down. And listen, I'm all about masculinity and men being men and stuff. But honestly, that's the only way that a marriage or any talk of engagement would ever be brought up with me. A chick would have to come up. It's not because I want her to get down on one knee for me. It's just that at this point, I don't believe in modern marriage. I don't believe in wifey material, modern women. So I'm not doing that, period. A chick would have to literally be like, MJ, please, please, I want to have that tip for the rest of my life. It's the only thing I want. Can you please marry me? She would have to literally get down on one knee and pledge to me because I'm not doing it. Regard I'm not doing it regardless. I'm not doing it, period. It's not in my vocabulary right the only reason i'm even saying that word is when i make videos about it like this one but if i'm out in public and you see me and you, how do you feel about marriage and i'm gonna be like m m you gonna think i have a speech impediment because i can't say that damn word bro i can't say that shit i don't believe in that it's garbage today it's garbage you know what i'm saying got me twisted these chicks out here on this meekly really listen to these females listen to the way they talk these are the tips i have for y'all to avoid you know, to, to help you with mitigating the holes from the real chicks, the diamonds in the rough from the Mia Khalifas, the chicks that slinging they coochie like a boomerang, comparing themselves to Tom Brady when all she doing is going for miles and yards in her body count. 
listen this is how you use discernment with these chicks i'm gonna tell you right now listen more than you talk let them talk when you get them in a stage in the beginning there's always a stage where you're getting comfortable where y'all hooking up and having fun no judgment zone is what i call it you get into no judgment zone bro you just listen be her friend let her just you know when you get done clapping y'all laying in bed she wants you to pillow talk because you're getting weak right you just busted all them nuts you drank your, your sack is drained and you weak i understand it felt amazing brother but here's the deal i need you to stay strong okay when she start asking you these personal questions this is the pillow talk phase okay no judgment zone do not elaborate on your plans do not tell her how you really feel about her that you just enjoying busting these nuts just let her talk let her expose herself she will uncover things about herself you're gonna hear her say some crazy stuff last week the guy that came over right because we're you know we're just having fun so another guy in my roster in my rotation you know he came over and he had just left it inside so i had to get a plan b <laughs> that shit is funny to them that shit is funny to them bro so you just sit back listen bro i don't hurt at all i don't hurt at all me and my girlfriends right we were just horny so you know we just decided to have a threesome all together wild call dude over who was that dude i i'd rather participate in this kind of stuff and enjoy my time hold off on the marriage right dangle that relationship in front oh you might be able to get a ring bitch but not today not for me not for me some of these modern women y'all see is wifey material i'm like bro do i need to slap you because you need some kind of wake-up call bro especially if you think modern women today is marriage material is wifey material you tripping over 90 percent of them are disqualified some of y'all when i throw that out you're like well how do i know and how to bro i'm telling you i'm telling you sit back and listen no judgment zone let them expose their truths and all they you know, they stories and stuff, they hookups and all this other stuff. You'd be like, oh, no, this is the princess. She's never had a one night stand. Bro, she done been ran through, right? She done been ran through. She done been tag team. Choo choo. The whole thing, bro. The whole thing, bro. I'm just saying. Hey, you stuck around this far, bro. Put Khalifa in the comment section. She tripping, right? She out of pocket.